So welcome to this introduction to how to use OVER 3 to analyse dialogue. So we're going to use a short snippet here from the BBC Political Debate Programme Question Time. Um, <clears throat> and in particular, we're going to be using um, the style of uh, inference anchoring theory analysis using a set of elocutionary schemes, that is to say, um, <clears throat> uh, speech acts, essentially, um, uh, in the, the, the set that we use here in Dundee. And we're also going to be indicating uh, the development of the argument using timestamps. So you'll see in the transcript on the left-hand side there, there are a couple of transcripts. These are offsets from the start that you can then set in, in OVER. Um, and OVER will then uh, associate timestamps with individual locutions. So the bit that we're interested in is at the end here. Um, <clears throat> Uh, where the, the particular um, issue was is being claimed to have been reported as jaw-dropping. So the first thing that we're doing here is to indicate that that claim is being made by one of the speakers, Kate Forbes, um, and that's just a, a, a simple um, relationship, except that um, it is effectively a kind of uh, reported speech. So we want to be able to identify, first of all here, the content of that reported speech, namely that it was jaw-dropping, um, and then indicate who it was that was supposed at least to have said it, namely in this case BBC reporters, um, <clears throat> and then obviously that, uh, that content that BBC reporters made that assertion is itself um, being asserted by Kate Forbes. So we can have that nested relationship using these elocutionary schemes uh, like so. So now next up, um, we notice that Fiona Bruce, the moderator of the program, um, disagrees with the claim of the reported speech. So the fact that um, the, the BBC uh, said such a thing. So we do the same kind of thing and indicate the content of what Fiona said. Um, and uh, in usual IAT style, we connect the, the locutions um, with the rule um, of discourse, the transition, and then indicate the conflict between the content and the content of the previous locution, which is, is itself reported speech. Um, and then we indicate the, um, uh, the, the uh, anaphoric reference that's being made um, in this uh, that opinion. Uh, we also remove the epistemic marker. <clears throat> These are all obviously um, analytical choices that one can make. This isn't anything special to, to over. It's just the way that we do things um, <clears throat> in, in, our, uh, in our analysis guidelines. So there we go, we've um, removed the epistemic marker, um, resolved the, the reference, um, and established the conflict and the disagreeing that anchors that conflict. Um, <clears throat> and then Fiona makes an additional claim, um, uh, which is that maybe it was just a single individual rather than someone acting um, on behalf of the BBC. Um, the content of this, though, is just a sheer repetition of what was said earlier, and so we can insert not only the transition in the dialogue, um, but also... Uh, the uh, the original content. So instead we're adding uh, the, the, the locution that corresponds to that repetition and then that locution itself is the content of Fiona's assertion. So you can see that this is a, a non-trivial um, analysis. There's quite a lot going on with reported speech and dialogical interaction, but it gives you a sense of how OVER can be used to produce such complex analyses.